With Moto 11 series, we're continuing on the path we started with Moto 10, which is a strong focus on legacy customer requests. That really breaks down into three key areas. One, a lower price point to entry. Two, a focus on performance and optimizations. And three, a change in how we deliver new features and tools. The first area we focused on was entry price point. That's why we're introducing Moto 11 at a $5.99 annual subscription. In some ways, subscription is a shift from the big upgrade model we've had in the past with Moto, but in many ways gets us back to our roots of Moto 101 and Moto 102 of iterative releases that were solving customer problems. We also want to make it easier for new artists to start using Moto. We frequently hear that the entry cost is very high. And so with subs, we have an opportunity to increase our user base, which is going to be good for anybody who already uses Moto. At the same time, we don't want to alienate our existing users. And so that's why we have maintenance as well for you to continue with the perpetual licensing structure that you guys have known and loved, even accommodating the need to move machine to machine, which personally, having once been a freelancer, is key. The second major focus has been on legacy issues such as bugs, performance optimizations, and overall workflow improvements. This is an area where customers have been asking us to focus on, and we're listening. There are 400 legacy bugs that we're tackling with Moto 11, in addition to bringing our creative specialist team in close to our developers to craft improved workflow solutions. Now we're implementing closer interaction between our creative team and our development team, where the creatives are responsible for kind of approving features as they go out and also offering more future ideas, leading to better end product for our users. Finally, we'll be introducing Moto VR as a public beta alongside Moto 11, free to any maintenance or subscription customer. Releasing Moto VR as a public beta allows us to get early customer feedback without impacting the traditional release schedule. VR in Moto is absolutely awesome. And first off, I will say, Initially, I was a naysayer. Since working with the developers on Moto VR, my opinion has completely changed on that. VR fundamentally alters your perception of working in 3D because now you actually have a physical object in front of you that is at your true real-world scale. And I think that improves both the modeling and asset creation process and even more so the design process for any type of